Hi Virgo. This is going to be your March love and sex reading. I apologize for the delay, but I've been sick all weekend. So, trying to get out all my readings today. So keep in mind this is a general reading. Okay, so this can resonate with some of you, may not resonate with all of you. So make sure you check your rising Venus and moon signs. Okay. Also know that the energies are interchangeable. So if you're not resonating with one side, it could be the other party. So I'm going to do one more shuffle and we'll start the reading. So this is going to be for all Virgos. And if I'm not talking very loud, it's because I haven't felt very well. So yeah, turn up your volume if you can't hear it because I am using a microphone. Now, we have the Nine of Swords, okay? Someone may have been all up in their head about something, potentially that, you know, no communication was coming in from somebody. So you may have, it, it, if it's not you, it could be the other person, all right? But this is really somebody who has been all up in their head, trying to figure out what to do. Um, you know, that may have resulted in some sleepless, sleepless nights, right? But it's no communication. No communication's coming in. Right. Now, in their energy, we have the Queen of Cups reversed. So this could be someone that they're dealing with, which is kind of, um, or it could be their energy, right? But I'm going to clarify. Um, Queen of Cups reversed, it, though, is really somebody who's like emotionally a bit unstable, very scattered. Um, they can be very needy and clingy. I, For me, this is like the needy, clingy card, like when dealing with a partner. Um, so if it's, you know, if it's not their energy, that's like this kind of neediness and emotionally like up and down, um, energy, it could be someone they're dealing with. Okay. Now in your energy, we have the full reverse. This is Aries energy, but this is also somebody who is, um, you know, there may be, they may not want to start something new here. They may not want to jump back into something. Um, you know, the, sometimes it can be not, um, <clears throat> like not following your, following your heart sometimes. But for me, it's usually not wanting to get back into a situation, right? Not ready to take a leap of faith because they're just like, mm, I don't think so. <clears throat> Sorry. So what's going on behind the scenes? We have the hangman, Pisces energy. Now, this is just a period of waiting, right? Someone's waiting for something. Uh, we are in Pisces season right now. So, you know, it's, I think this is just going to be a little waiting period. Um, you know, but their head's illuminated. They kind of know what to do. Um, for me, this card is always like, you know, someone's kind of taken this time away. They've kind of they're in solitude, right? And they're trying to um, become enlightened about a situation. Um, but it takes time, right? Waiting. But his head is illuminated, right? So it's like, it's going to come, right? The enlightenment and the clarity is going to come. But somebody's stringing themselves up by their own volition. Like, they're doing it on purpose, right? So it's waiting. So there's going to be a little bit of a waiting period here. Now, in potential outcome, we have the Six of Swords. This is moving, could be moving towards you or moving away from you, right? Depending on how you're resonating with the situation. They could be at a distance, okay? Um, but someone may either be coming towards you or moving away from you. Um, trying to get to calmer waters though, right? They could have a child involved here. Maybe a little baggage. I'm gonna clarify to get more information. What we have, uh, that's on both of your minds, you have the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. And this is about, um, contracts, commitments, traditional relationships, right? Could be marriage, okay? Um, <clears throat> but, you know, th there could be, you could be married to this person or they could be married. But this is something that it's like the, both parties are thinking about this contract, this relationship, right? 
what's going on behind the scenes that we have temperance temperance um not behind the scenes what's going on behind this card <laughs> temperance right getting balance and healing back into the situation because right now it's like it may not be happening um this is sagittarius energy and then we have the five of cups right and it's about releasing the past so someone may be trying to release some you know thoughts about the past they may be stuck in the past whatever happened here this card this person to me is dramatic do they have to be dressed in black that's dramatic right so someone may be kind of dramatic but they're getting out of this energy they're ready to move forward right they need some balance and healing in regards to this relationship this marriage is um, whatever type of relationship and connection it is but this is a traditional it's about tradition really so i'm going to clarify let's see why the um why the nine of swords is here why is the nine of swords here and again this is shared energy it could be going on both your ends right like even if they're not telling you like oh you know this has been bothering me the no communication between us it doesn't mean they're not thinking that okay yeah it's about a breakup. It's about an ending of a partnership here. We have the lover's card, Gemini energy, okay? So someone was all up in their head about, you know, the separation, this breakup. Let's see why the, the eight of wands is here reversed. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory to me that there was no communication, but I'll just clarify. What's this no communication about? Yeah, someone wasn't getting attention. They didn't see success. Could be dealing with a Leo. This is a Leo card for me. So let's see, why is the Queen of Cups in their energy reversed? What is this Queen of Cups here for? Because I don't know if this is someone that they're dealing with. This is their energy. Let's see, why is the Queen of Cups reversed? Okay, Virgo energy the hermit so this person wants to come out of um this is their energy i think this is their energy for sure because it's like this person may feel like needy or clingy towards this relationship they may be emotionally unstable they want to put this is a return card for me right when he's upright he's taking a break he's going up the mountain to get clarity right but this person wants to come back in as so i think they're feeling very needy and clingy towards this relationship now let's see why is the fool here in your energy as a fool here. As a fool here. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you don't want to give an off. You don't want the to present an offer to anybody at this point. It's like you you don't want to do it. You do. You're like no. <laughs> um, I think you're done with this situation. So why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? King of Pentacles. So someone may be trying to get into this King of Pentacles energy. You may be waiting for a King of Pentacles, someone more stable. Um, but, you know, it's almost like somebody's trying to get into this energy of being stable, reliable, financially dependable. Um, I think it's them. Now, again, there's a waiting period. You could have this King of Pentacles coming in, you know, it could be a new person. So let's clarify. Who is this King of Pentacles? Okay, so you may... All right, here's where I'm getting. This could be a new energy coming in for you because... Um, but it's going to be a period of waiting before it comes in. You may have to make a choice here. Okay, someone's going to have to make a choice between this old energy, I think, this other person... Because this is also about choices sometimes. There's two people. Choices. So it's almost like, um, you know, it's like there may be someone new coming in on the horizon. It's going to be a little bit of a wait, like I said. When it happens, though, there could be a choice. You have to make a choice here. And if it's not you, it could be the other person. But I, I think it's you because they're getting all this kind of like this anxious energy about the situation. So let's see. Why is the Six of Swords here? What is this about? And this could be, the Six of Swords could actually be you moving on to be with someone new. Yeah, because you're not going to take the offer. You're not going to take it. 
um, you know, I think that you're just going to move on from this situation. Let's see. Why is the four reversed? Let's see. I think someone just wants to move on. Yeah, there may have been some devious behavior in the past. Okay. Um, and this is somebody walking away. Right. Um, but, but when it's reversed, it's like they're kind of like, they're not fully walking away. Um, there just may have been some like shitty behavior, right? So it's about, it's almost like you may want to walk away from this person, not take their offer, okay, um, because of their past behavior, right? Um, you may still, if it's not you, okay, it could be them, but I think it's, it's probably you. Um, you may still look back towards... You know, see how this came out, right? He's looking back towards, because um, when it's upright, so when it's upright, he's walking away, okay? Juggling, but walking away. When it's reversed, he's walking away, but he's not walking away very quickly, <laughs> right? There's still something where he's looking towards the past. So you may be looking, you may walk away, okay? You may walk away, but you may still be looking towards the past, like, did I make the right choice rejecting this offer? See how he's looking towards this offer? Did he make the right choice? Right? Um, so, yeah, I think that you're just, you may reject something. Um, because this is also about rejecting an offer when it's upright, but because it's it's with this card, it's almost like um, you're going to take action to just not do it. Right? So, let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some... Uh, I can't talk today. <laughs> I'm gonna get some uh, fears and blocks for this person. Let's see what's their what what's their issue? The person that you're thinking about. What's the blocks fears. Blocks and fears for the person that Virgo's thinking about. Blocks and fears. Let's see. Unawaken, so they may not even be aware of you know what they're doing, right? They may be like, mm, I'm fine. This is totally fine. Like they're, they they may they may be operating at like a lower level of consciousness, right? Or they're just like kind of stuck in this 3D. Just wanted to fly out. We have fifth dimension. Okay, so this is more like there is a spiritual connection between the two of you. See, there's two people here, right? There is a higher level connection, but they're not aware of it, I don't think. They're like kind of, whatever their behavior is, they're not acting like the way that you need them to act. So I think that you're kind of done with it. But they do, you know, there is a connection here. Then we have compromise. So they may be unwilling to compromise with you, right? Uh, whatever that is. It could be anything, right? What else? Let's get one more. Let me have fall. This could all probably happen in the fall, maybe. Maybe fall is significant. Maybe there is, you know, a birthday in the fall. There was an ending in the fall. It began in the fall. Either way, fall is significant in some way. So let's see what Unawakened is here for. Why is Unawakened here? What's this card about? And again, I think that you may have a new person coming in. Yeah, it's like, <clears throat> all right, so someone may have been very defensive in the past, right? They may, you know, reverse. This is like, okay, they're not as defensive. They don't feel as on guard. But, like, th those defenses and walls up may have had them act in, like, these unawakened ways, right? This is a very unconscious behavior, okay? Because I think that they may have felt, like, not attacked, but, like, wounded, right? This is somebody who has... Um, issues like past issues where they just feel like you know this is a wounded person okay which may keep them stuck in this energy where they're not conscious of their own behavior so maybe they had like you know some bad relationships before and they're on guard right now i mean when that card's reversed it's like it's not as to me it's just 
kind of blocked or can it kind of enhance the upright um, so it's almost like they're getting out of it slowly right but the underlying factor is that it's still an energy there then we have fifth dimension we have the moon so it's almost like you know they may so yes there is like a, a higher level connection here right but but this is also Pisces energy um, but it's almost like things are being hidden okay things are not coming to light things are not that's why I don't think that they realize this connection with you yet they're not like acknowledging it again because they're unawakened right um, it is it's not that it's not real though okay there is a deep spiritual connection between the two of you but it's like they're holding back they're holding back emotion they may be holding back secrets um, just acting in ways that are just completely irrational maybe Let's see why is compromise here these all wanted to fly out but I'm not gonna take them it's too many why is compromise here Yeah, this is about a partnership, happy partnership, Ten of Cups. Um, again, there could be a child involved here, right? There's children in this card, so we got a couple cards with children. Um, but they may not be willing to compromise when it comes to creating this happy family dynamic, okay? Um, it's like they're, this person's very stuck in their, their, their ways, right? It's like they're very, it could be very self-centered um, and very unconscious of that behavior. Why is fall here? They may have some issues, like if you, maybe you have a child already and they, you know, they don't, they're afraid um, coming into that, whatever. Um, then we have fall. This is, you know, not working together. So this may have all started in the fall. Of not being able to work together effectively, come together, build a foundation. I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna get some more romantic cards here get the romantic energy so what's the romantic what are some romantic themes behind this connection there's some romantic themes what does Virgo need to know about this what are some romantic themes behind this connection release your ex yeah like I said I think this person has some uh, you can look at this in two ways, right? Uh, I think this person may have some past issues. They may have had some like poor relationships in the past, which makes them act like the Queen of Cups reverse, very emotionally unstable, could be kind of needy, clingy. It's like that person that's like always demanding to know where you are, or like is very sensitive to stuff. Um, you know that that's the Queen of Cups reverse for me. <laughs> like, why didn't you text me back? Um, you know it's, it's that kind of energy so they may need to release their ex but not the physical person but just like the hurt and the heartbreak from it another way to to look at this though you may need to release them right you may need to release them the time has come to clear your energy right so it's really about releasing the past because we had a few cards about releasing the past what else there's some other energies here either way someone needs to release this kind of energy about you know an ex just kind of in their we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So there could be a religious difference here. Um, now, um, you may, sometimes this is like an obstacle for me. Attraction wanted to fall out. Um, this is like, could be an obstacle sometimes for me if you have different religious backgrounds, right? Cultural backgrounds, differences like that. Either way, there's something about, there could be something about like your own cultural upbringing or religious beliefs that may be, um, you know, blocking this connection in some way, or, or maybe it even like brought you two together, right? You could look at it either way. Um, but yeah, then we have attraction. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So it's not like the two of you aren't attracted to each other. You probably really are, right? There's, there's definitely attraction here. Let me get one more card. What else? What is one more theme? Retreat. So it's time to disconnect from the world. So, you know, maybe it's time to just kind of take a break from the situation. Just sort of disconnect from it. I'm going to clarify some of these, though. What is the Release Your X card here for? What is this about? 
see what is your next card here for. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Five of Pentacles. So this is like when it's upright, someone's been ghosted, left out in the cold. So it's almost like, you know, here's what I'm getting for some people. This person may want to desperately come back in and you're not having it, right? Um, and it's almost like they want to, they really want to come back in, right? And you, it's like release, you need to release them. Let them go, right? And just move forward. That's for some of you, not all of you. Um, you know, for others, they may have this X energy. Like again, this is about coming back. So they may be revisiting something over and over and over again in their brain. And they need to release that X energy, right? The past there's religious factors here what's this about so there's different you know different situations for different people again this is a general reading so i get a lot of different messages that come through um, so take what resonates you know i try to say all of them that i hear that come through to you know hit everything for everybody um whatever one resonates though Religious factors, yeah, this could be, like I said, it could be something that is like an obstacle to the two of you coming together. Like there could be some sort of belief system in place, right? Based on an upbringing, cultural belief, religious background, whatever it is, that kind of blocks the two of you from coming together into this union. Um, you know, maybe they have children and you don't. And, you know, there's like, you know, who knows or maybe you have kids they don't have kids and their religious background says oh i can't be with this person blah blah blah, blah or you know stuff like that or maybe they don't believe in divorce and they've been divorced you know it could be anything like i said so you know it's going to be unique to you of course because everyone's situation is unique so let's see why is attraction here So we have the six of pentacles. This is about an imbalance, right? Someone wanting attention. So, you know, they may be, and this may not be for everybody, but I, I'm almost getting like somebody may be attracted to the other person when they're not giving them attention. Okay? <laughs> like, it's like maybe you pull away and they feel more attracted to you. That's that needy behavior again, right? It's sort of like on their end, it could be more of a codependent. Um, it's like, I don't know, I'm just getting this energy that they are very, very, like, dependent on you in some way. Like, they have to be, they don't, they don't want to let you go, right? But whenever you, like, pull away, it makes you more attractive to them, if that makes sense. And if that's not them feeling that way, it could be you, either way, you know? Let's see, why is retreat here? Yeah, it's to get out of conflict. So it's like someone wants to retreat from the situation and kind of come out of conflict here. Okay. All right, so let's get some romantic messages from this person. Let's see what they have to say. Let's get some romantic messages. What do they have to say? How do they feel? You make me smile. So you may, you may feel like you make them very happy. Maybe you're funny, you know, maybe you make them laugh, but either way you make them smile. So they feel very happy around you. What else? No one will ever compare to you. I think they put you on a pedestal. You know, I think that they kind of elevate you, which is why they're, like, very dependent on this relationship. But again, I think that you are kind of maybe over it. Let me have shower sex. So maybe, you know, maybe that's something that you two are doing. Either way, <clears throat> they're thinking about it. Let's see what else we have. Someone to come out. <laughs> we have morning sex. Okay. So, apparently, they want to have shower sex in the morning. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, take what resonates. It might not be for all of you, but that's something that I think that they're thinking about here. All right. So, let's get a message from Spirit to see what's going on. So, this is going to be a message from Spirit about this relationship. Is 
secret admirer. So someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So this could be a new person or, you know, it could be this person. <laughs> they are hiding their feelings, right? They could be a little obsessed with you. I, I'm telling you, every single sign this month has gotten like an obsessive person on the other end. It's like, who are we dealing with? What are you dealing with? Oh, everyone's obsessed with the zodiacs. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get some messages from them about how they, you know, things that they want to tell you maybe that they're holding back. What are some things that this person wants to tell? There we go. Your words still affect me. They may be ruminating on the last thing that you said to them. No matter what it was, you know. You're in separation. Um, could be. I'm not getting a lot of, like, too many separation vibes. For some of you, you may be separated. But for others, you may actually be dealing with this person. Actively. Right? We have, it's easier to be fake with someone else than be authentic with you and face rejection. So, for those of you that have someone that's dealing with somebody else... Um, and this can be layered. This is somebody who's like, um, almost like a, pl they placate, right? They don't, it's easier for them to be fake with someone else, anyone else. You know, they could be the type of person that's like, oh yeah, I'm totally fine to their friends, right? Like, oh, you know, we're not together, this person, blah, 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 blah. But to you, they're like, I love you, I love you, I miss you, I love you, I need to have you, right? It's, it's like being fake. They're not being authentic. Um, because when they do that, they face the potential of rejection. And it could be another person that they're dealing with. For some of you, it could be, you know. But I don't get a lot of that. I feel like almost like this person is kind of telling their friends and family something and telling you something else. I wish I, yeah, I, wish I could tell you how I really feel. Exactly. This is right underneath this one, right? I, I, they're just not telling you their true feelings, I think. They're telling other people something else. It's almost like... doesn't mean they don't care about you or anything like that. It just means that they're, like, placating other people, trying to make everybody happy because they're afraid to be... It's like they want to fit in. That's what I'm getting. I have fleeting thoughts about you. So they're thinking about you. Um, not obsessively all day, every day, but the, you're popping into their mind, and they never know when it's going to happen. I think it's kind of throwing them off balance, you know. What do I do here? Okay, these are going to be more sexual in nature, these messages. How do they feel about you sexually? How does the person that Virgo is thinking about, how do they feel about them sexually? What are some themes? What are some themes? We have the Queen of Wands, so they find you very attractive. They're drawn to you. They find you very attractive. They find, find you like this confident, passionate person, right? They're drawn to you, like a moth to a flame, right? <laughs> what else? What are some other themes here? How do they feel about Virgo? Because you did get the attraction card too. Let me have the Ten of Wands. Um, this is about, it can be about a burden, right? Putting down a burden, but, you know, in this deck, it can be both things where it's like, you know, they may feel like they carry you in some way, right? Maybe, uh, or you carry them. Could be either way. Um, but it's almost like this person feels some sort of responsibility, okay? If it's not you, it could be them. Maybe you feel like you have to financially support this person or something. Then we hit one to fly out. We have the chariot, cancer energy. Okay. It's about balance, moving forward, and control, right? Uh, but I think this person wants to be in control in some way. Um, they do want things to move forward, though, but it's like they want to be in control. Which is, and like, when it's... People that are like they, like the Queen of Wands, Queen of 
loves reverse. People that placate, it's a subtle manipulation tactic to feel in control and like empowered. You know, they're like, oh yeah, you know, they'll do whatever you say because it's, it's like they avoid conflict and they feel like if they can avoid the conflict by their own behavior, they're actually in control. Then we have the King of Swords. So, you know, this, the King of Swords is about communication, clarity. Um, and on this one, we do have a third person looking in, right? So it could be a third party, but, um, you know, I just have to say that. <laughs> Throw it out there. But, you know, it's about, this King of Swords, like, they give very, they don't give a ton of attention, right? Look, he's like fondling her with his foot, right? Um, this could be your energy, right? Where you're just like, mm, whatever, you know, um, not giving a ton of attention to this person. They're kind of like in the more submissive pose here. So you could, this could be you in the more submissive role or it could be them. I think it's them though, because it's almost like they're the one that's placating in some way. trying to remember what I did for the other slides. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, so we're going to get another one. Uh, so tell they, you know, what the sexual energy is. Masculine to feminine, what's this sexual energy? What's this theme? They may not be actively aware of this, but consciously aware. The doubt, please don't shut me out. Yeah, I, like I said, I feel like you're going to shut them out. You're kind of like ready to move on. They don't like that. They can't deal with that. They don't like it. Like I said, when you, they find you almost more attractive when you kind of <laughs> shut them down. They don't. Kind of, for me, that's a confirmation, right? It's like they don't want to be shut out. They find you more attractive. <laughs> All right, this per yeah, this person to me seems like they need your attention. Um, but at the same time, it's like, they're a little over the top. All right. So let's get some advice cards and then we'll close it up. What's some advice here for Virgo on how to move forward? We have spiritual teachers. So your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. So for some of you, you know, maybe you will kind of fall into this, um, you know, more conscious, um, higher level vibration. Um, you could be a spiritual teacher of some sort. Um, you know, maybe you teach law of attraction, maybe it's not anything like that. You know, just self empowerment in some way, spiritual, spiritual stuff, the more esoteric things. That's for some of you, not all of you. Let's see, what else do we have? You may actually um, be going to a spiritual teacher, you know, coaches, stuff like that. What else? Let's go one more. Practice, practice, practice. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. So, you know, this is about continually walking the walk, right? Um, you stay on path. You stay on your path. You practice, 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 practice your talents and your skills. Having confidence in, your, in yourself, right? Why is this card all messed up? This is like backwards. Okay. But it's like, you know, staying on the path. This person just may not be in alignment with you, right? So it's like, stay on stay on course. You know, if you're more aligned to the spiritual stuff and they're not, you know, maybe they're just not a vibrational match for you. So what else? What do the angels have to say about this? Trust. So I think it, it's more about trusting yourself. Trust your, trust your judgment. Trust whatever choice you're going to make about this, right? Um, whatever your choice is, it's, you have to trust yourself. Trust your instincts. Don't waver, right? Don't hesitate. Um, if you are like, okay, I'm going to walk away. <clears throat> you know, if you're going to walk away, walk away, right? Don't be afraid to do that. Don't trust yourself. Trust that everything's going to work out for you. Again, because if you have like financial dependence on this person or something like that, it's okay. You can, you know, start your own stuff. You have to trust yourself to get there though, okay? So like I said, if you need to walk away, time to walk away. <clears throat> anyway that's going to be your reading Virgo I hope that it resonated if it does feel free to like share and subscribe and I hope you have a great rest of your day